Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, hello! So it's been a bit of a minute since I've done a beauty related video, mostly just been fitness related, which is nothing wrong with that. So bringing myself up to speed with anything beauty related, I'm going to be first impressioning, I have seen this advertised on Instagram mostly, a different brand, different style of tool. When I saw this um, when my mum and I were miraculously shopping, you know, given all the chaos that's been happening lately. It's always a bit of a stretch to go to the shops. We were all passing through the beauty aisle in the store when I saw this and I had been searching high and low for this eyebrow uh, tabano groomer for the longest time ever since I saw it on advertisements back when I was living in my old house in Belgrave. Happy to say the suburb now because I no longer live in there, obviously. <laughs> So this is by the brand Vite. It is not sponsored by any means. Like I said, I was browsing through the store when I saw this. Might not be the same one that um, was advertised on TV way back when, but there is um, an adjustable eyebrow head. So you've got the one that's already attached in it, and this one here. Cuny and underarms. Yep, like it says, where the um, acrylic body is. One gadget plus seven accessories and batteries included. Okay, so it's battery ran. Good thing we have a battery charger. Alright, so let's get this run through a whirl, what have you. We've been waiting forever for my eyebrow hairs to, especially the um, underparts here, to grow out a bit. And I don't pay attention to it, I think, where the hell did all these hairs come from? But when I'm waiting around, it's like, only one hair has made an appearance. A watched brow never grows. Okay, I could have opened it way more delicately. This is what the whole kit looks like. So it's already in the pouch itself. It's even got in the manual on the inside. Only the one battery. It kind of looks like one of those um, rollers you put in your hair. Okay, and the main, oh, the main body of it. I'm getting a pregnancy test vibes of this, but we're not here for that. That involves a social life. Put the battery in. This butt bit back in. Okay, there we go. It's a twist job. And that's locked it in. Well, I get what they mean by um, adjusting. I the feeling that if you were too rough with this bit, it will snap right off. Absolutely nothing is happening. And I do get the biggest feeling that, you know, I need to charge up the battery. And if you can change the head, how would you do that? There we go. Another twist job and pull it off. However long this video ends up being, some amount of minutes of me being a dumbass. Well, I'm definitely getting the biggest feeling. I need to put the battery on charge. Hopefully the battery fits into the battery charger as well. Right, I'll be right back and we'll have to ask about whether the charger is. But yeah, it's back. I don't know if it's just me actually being a pure dumbass, but as soon as I put the battery in the other way, so for the head of it towards the bottom, well, it instantly switched on. Like I said, however many minutes of this video, I'll be being a dumbass. Okay, so it's a press job. You have to keep holding the button just to get anything done. No you don't. Please, parents, if you just walked into your child, whoever you're living with, that you're caring for. My god, this is so damn dry. I can see myself in the uh, lens. I don't know why my lips are so damn dry. I'm drinking so much water. I just about to end water. I'm putting um, Carmex on my lips, which is a lip balm. Okay, so I'm just going to change the head. Okay. Finally, so I take it the small side is to get really precise. The bigger side, you can adjust it so it angles better. We've established. I get rid of it pretty quickly. Definitely very, very easy to get to um, each angle of your eyebrows depending how thick and how close your eyebrows are, how far down and how far up your eyebrows are. I do need to take a little bit more of this arch bit here. Yeah, that's a bit better because it was probably looking like I was raising one eyebrow when I wasn't. Now, I'm pretty sure I just took out a chunk right in the middle there. Alright, so now I'm giving myself a gap. 
that's awesome. I mean, of course, my brows will still grow out. I think I can't fill it back in with makeup. The blades themselves is definitely very light. This feels like you're moving a, um, a spoolie across your eyebrow. So that's the biggest sign. It. It's just to get to the top of the brow. So as for bikini underarms, what's going on with my underarms? Yeah, there's some stubble there. Okay, <laughs> so I'm so excited. Okay, so I've got to say eyebrow, armpit hair. There's only a little bit of stubble there. Gonna see how it works um, well with the bigger side. Just gonna take my top off. I like to have a sports bra on underneath. Okay, that side is probably just a bit too small, not strong enough to get to the brow hair, so use this one. Which does not appear to be removing the hairs quite as fast as what the brow one does, but obviously different parts of your body, although it's all pubic related, your eyebrow hairs are generally a lot more finer and more softer than what eyebrow uh, armpit hairs are, I'm trying to say. It'll be interesting about leg hairs as well. I'm not going to test out my um, bikini or triple X because this is still YouTube. It's taking so long just to get rid of a few hairs. Honestly, a razor works so much quicker. It's raising so that's what they're for. I don't know when I stopped recording, but I was just saying that the bra- um, I keep saying brows, but the damn armpits, it just doesn't seem to be doing anything. This head, a few um, hairs at a time, but as the more I'm trying to move along, the more it just stops doing anything. Well, it stops taking hairs away. It's still going, it's just not doing anything effective. Now I'm lowering it all the way down to the floor. I guess I am sitting on my yoga mat. Okay. Let's see if this does anything for the leg hairs. But you guys can see my leg will rise. I just like my um, armpit. There's not that many hairs there. I do not have very thick hair all over my body. It honestly kind of feels like a cat's tongue. Okay, that took way so long just to get rid of a group and I still have stubble compared to how quick a razor would be. I'm just gonna go grab a container, fill it with water, a little bit of soap, and then just go over with a razor. Okay, so with this razor and a tub of water, I don't have any product in it, it's not really necessary. And how instant is that? I mean, I'm not trying to show it up, I've clearly made it so it's multi purpose. And my leg will definitely get itchy from this. So if anybody is getting ASMR out of this. But obviously, not only is the razor soundless, apart from the uh, genuine rubbing of the legs or the skin, it also immediately removes the hairs, but this guy, apart from the buzzing sound, or the vibrator sound, or the electric toothbrush sound, it didn't remove anything, like a little few hairs at a time, but it didn't get down to the root. This is also a wise, a wise idea to shave your legs in the shower because this water can instantly wash the hairs away. Also able to move so much quicker. This is not a tutorial on how I shave my legs, by the way. It's just... The difference between, so you would have taken absolutely forever shaving your legs with this than what you would with a regular razor. So that's obviously so much better. There's no stubble on my leg, so much more smooth and took no time at all compared to this little guy.
Okay, so we both now was having trouble with this side with this little guy, especially this head. Let's see with this. I mean, obviously it will work out just fine. So now I'm protecting my mat. Because you know, this time common sense has kicked in. <laughs> Once well, again, not a tutorial on how I shape up here. I was taking quite a few swipes, obviously, just to make sure I got in each angle. Immediately gone. Once so again, instantly gone. Oh, I probably missed a few hairs, but much more smoother. So this V razor, both smaller hair for brows and the bigger one for larger areas of the body. Certainly the larger areas of the body part doesn't work so well. I mean if you have very thick uh, leg hairs or whatever, um, some people and not to mention pubic hairs, you're going to be there for until the cross bar the ends, um, or COVID I should say, which is to keep things you know, sensitive obviously. With the smaller head, I definitely had a, lot of, a really good outcome with the brows. I mean, my upper eyebrow hairs aren't very thick and coarse to begin with. So I was able to use the smaller side really, really well. I'd say that the bigger side is just, you know, just to get a quicker fix at the top. I mean, I still don't get what the um, deals with these guys. And so just chroma attachment to uniform hair to do different lengths. I don't get it. It's just that I don't get it. <laughs> and these two... Yeah, I'm not so sure how you would use these. You no, know, I think it's just supposed to be like the same way you would use a razor on a man's head. Or, you know, women's head. Hair, I should say. With an American accent, hair. Now I'm trying to figure out how you would sit it up there. I don't think it's meant for this head. So head is not so easily, easily able to be put on. I mean, apparently it can be sitting on this, according to the diagram. Okay, clicked it on. This is a good start. Must have been clicking on the wrong way, unsurprisingly. Then how the hell would you get this one on? Yeah, this here does not make any sense. Let's scrap that one. And there's this one. Well, that obviously sits on instantly and clicks in instantly. I also just say that this is probably for bikini line. So you get like for the smaller gaps and for the larger areas. And you can comb through the hair so that you could probably just groom up a bit, not so much of remove the hairs. With this one, if it's you know, clearly advertised on the actual packet itself, it's possible to put it on, but I just haven't quite figured that out yet. Honestly, when it comes to legs and pits, a razor definitely works so much better instantly. Whatever razor you use, whatever brand you use. But for this one, minus the head attachments, this worked amazing for my eyebrows. I'm definitely very happy with that. Plus it was so instant. I actually usually use a razor itself just to get under there. And I'm also having to be just as careful and precise with the angle of the razor so I don't shave off too much, which I still accidentally did, but oh well. With this, because of how small it is, especially this side, I would definitely be using this for my brows more often. In fact, I'll probably only be using it for my brows. And my sister wanted to have a crack at it as well, but I have to thoroughly disinfect it and stuff like that for obvious reasons. Yeah, I'm definitely very happy brow-wise, but pit and legs, just a bit, just a bit disappointed. Razor and just razor. Definitely um, you know, got rid of the hairs instantly as I worked my way up and around, but with this head I just didn't get much out of it. So with this first impression is now done. I'm definitely very happy with the beats as far as the brows go, but with the legs, no. Uh, for very fine hairs, I just wasn't getting far with it at all. You'll be having a field day, you'll be there until you retire if you haven't already. I mean, maybe you'll have success, but the thicker and more coarse the leg hairs are, and bikinis, etc. Et like that, the longer you'll be there for forever in a day. So this was my first impression, this was my experience. Take it with a grain of salt. Thank you all so much for watching, I shall see you all for my future videos. Bye-bye.